my YouTube channel. 안녕하세요 여러분. 나 유튜브 채널에서 환영합니다. Today in this video, I'm going to talk you about the similarities and the differences between Turkish and Korean cultures. Some of you may already know, but there are many similarities between Turkish and Korean cultures, both traditionally and historically. Some historians believe that this is because the Turkic tribes living in the Central Asia had relationship with Koreans at that time, which is really interesting to me because it means that there is a possibility that my origins may be relatives with Korean people. Um, furthermore, after the Korean War, after the Turkish soldiers' brave attempts during the Korean War, Turkey and South Korea became rather new countries. I honor all my trees and veterans. So the first one, language. The similarity between Korean and Turkish language. So Korean and Turkish language belong to the same language family, which is Altaic language family. And the grammar structure of both languages is built in the order. Subject, object, verb, or object, subject, verb. And besides that, there are also some words that are used both in the languages, have the same meaning uh, or the same pronunciation but different meanings. For example, su. Su also means water in Turkish, but actually it's a very old Korean term for water as well. So, the difference between Korean and Turkish languages. In history, there's been some time that Turkish language was written with some Turkic alphabets such as Göktürk and Uyghur and even in Arabic but now, thanks to the founder of the Republic of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk we use Latin alphabet as our official alphabet In Korean language, Hanja alphabet was used before King Sejong invented the Hangul alphabet and as a foreigner, as a foreigner who learned Korean the hardest part of learning Korean for me was learning the vocabulary related to Hanja alphabet. The second one, food. The similarity of food between Korean and Turkish cultures. Uh, we have salcha, which is pepper taste in Turkey. And Korean people have gochujang, which is also a fermented version of pepper taste. Uh, let me explain it more detailed. Gochujang is one of the most used ingredients in Korean cooking. It's a fermented red pepper paste and in Turkish cuisine we have biber salçası which basically means red pepper paste as the key ingredients as well. Of course some of these paper taste ingredients are different. For example, gochujang is fermented and has a bit different ingredients but overall I think they taste really similar because of this fact I love Korean food and got used to eating it so easily and besides that we have turshu as a side dish which is really close to kimchi but not as spicy as kimchi rather sour the difference between Turkish and Korean breakfast culture as Turks, we love to have a range of foods for our first meal of today, such as eggs, cheese, olives, jams, tomatoes, cucumbers, and many more. But Koreans do not have such a culture, like such a breakfast culture, and they usually eat any meal they have for lunch or dinner as their breakfast, which is really interesting for me as a Turkish person. But I got used to it. Third one, tradition. Similarity between bohcha and bojagi. Bohcha and bojagi are kinds of traditional clothes used in both Turkish and Korean culture for gift giving, weddings, and engagements. It functions as a bag. In Korea, if young girls' parents do not allow them to marry the guy that uh, they love, they take their bojagi and run away from their houses. Also, it's just similar in Turkey. Young ladies put their valuable items in their bohcha and they ran away from home as well. And the difference between Turkish and Korean traditions, greeting people. When Turkish people have meeting with someone, they are usually inclined to hug 
or kissing the cheeks of the person but Koreans may be shocked by this behavior because they tend to approach with a more space and greet by shaking hands unlike Turkish people Thank you so much everyone for watching my video In this video I wanted to mention some of the similarities and also differences in three aspects uh, language, food and tradition and I hope you enjoy and get some interesting knowledge from this video See you later!